Hello, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is your monthly message for October 2020 and beyond. Whenever you choose to watch this reading, I do consider these readings as timeless. So whether you watch it at the upload time or sometime after, it's really whenever the universe places it into your awareness and you feel that pull to watch, there may indeed be a message here for you. And if at the end of the day, there isn't a reading here for you um, that you connect with, that's okay. Um, there are so many other readers out there in YouTube world. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be somebody out there who has the messages you're looking for, okay? So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's start with a fortune card to kind of give us the theme of what this monthly message is all about for you, Scorpio. So let's take a look. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what this monthly messages theme is all about for you. Let's get one card. All right, so judgment, soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. So I don't know if some of you are like in a very pensive state for this month. Maybe you're doing a lot of thinking. Maybe you're writing a lot of things down. Uh, maybe you're making a plan of some sort. Let's see. Oh, there goes one. All right, six of swords. Well, that's kind of cool because the card is saying, look, soul searching brings inner peace. Well, the six of swords does indeed go in the direction of what's going to bring it peace of mind and healing. So it is about moving on from something. So I wonder if Scorpio, some of you are moving on from something and making peace with that situation, letting it go. Let's see if we can get two more cards. All right, seven of pentacles, and we have the king of swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius over here. Um, I don't know if that's somebody you're dealing with or the energy that you're taking on. Now, what this feels like is it does feel more like an energy than a person. And if it is a person, um, you may have reevaluated a situation with this person air sign perhaps let's say and have I say reevaluate because the seven of pentacles here and you've decided to kind of move away from that situation because logically it's what makes sense there may have to be there may be something that you actually may have to really consider and I'm going to go back to this energy here with the seven of pentacles because that's what that energy does it's like looking at a situation up upright down, left, center, you know, inside out and back again, basically, um, to see what it needs, what can be helped to get this ball rolling, to get it moving in the right direction. Sometimes it's an energy of, okay, I'm like on the brink of throwing in the towel. You may have some serious, yes, like the card says, soul searching to do in regards to reevaluating a situation or reevaluating a situation with someone in order to really decide what the direction is that you're trying to go in because that six of swords does want to go in a different direction it wants to leave a tumultuous situation behind and oftentimes it's it's a very deep decision that has to be made in order to find that balance again it's a number six energy so it's seeking balance harmony peace of mind and i think you're going to have to reevaluate some things that maybe are causing you to lose your peace of mind and tranquility, right? That's why I'm saying, look, soul searching is going to bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Well, you're going to have to probably take a time out. You might have to separate yourself from a situation or from a place or a person, maybe to think and get your head on straight. The six of swords has the swords in the boat. And whenever I see this, it's like this feeling of you learned what you needed to learn. You take the memories with you 
they're in your boat, yes, you still carry those memories, but they don't have the power to sink your ship anymore. So it's one of those things where you're going to get to a point where you have to listen to what's what makes sense in your mind. You might be more logic minded over here with the King of Swords energy in regards to the way that you approach things in regards to the way that you stand in your truth. But whatever you decide after you've reassessed your situation, um, I think you're going to make the right decision over here with the King of Swords because he's very intellectual. He's very strong minded and he follows through with his choices and decisions because the decisions he makes are based in his personal truth. So I think once you do that, you'll be able to um, know what you need to do, where you need to go, how you need to approach it. Again, I was feeling over here earlier, like you'll know what plan you need to make, what steps you need to take. You might have to write some things down, um, but at the end of the day, once you once it all makes sense on paper, it feels like you're going to follow through with your decision and you're really not going to have a chance to look back because this card doesn't. You see the body language is showing where the guy's back is faced, you know, to let's say you or me, right? Um, and it's like, I'm not looking back from that. Once I decide, I'm going to keep moving forward in the direction that I choose. Now, for some of you, it might not be about a person this could easily be about your finances here with the seven of pentacles you might have to make some adjustments in your finances you may have to really consider some things soul search about them of course but i feel that you're gonna make the right choice over here with the king of swords after you've done your reassessment your reevaluation of a situation or a person and it does feel like you're you're already moving in the right direction one that's going to bring you peace of mind and tranquility i really do feel like scorpio you're not you're not playing around and i guess it's this king of swords energy who's very stern and, and sure of himself you know it is a king it's the highest expression of the court cards so in a sense your energy is very sure of yourself and confident in in the truth that you you know you're going to stand by your own personal truth and i don't really think with this card once you've evaluated your situation and made up your mind i don't think anybody's going to be able to talk you out of it but I do think that it's going to take a lot of soul searching in order for you to fully make your choice after you've re, you know, reassessed some things. You're going to have to sit with yourself for a bit. But I think once you choose, I don't know if there's anything that's going to be able to stop you from getting on that boat and going in the direction of your choice. Yeah, that King of Swords, his energy, it's not easy to, to talk them out of that okay it's like once you made up your mind you made it your mind it's settled so what i feel from this overall is scorpio so far big energy as far as considering something important making a choice perhaps reassessing reevaluating your situation in order to make a change in a different direction so you're going to have some things to think about you're going to have to do some soul searching about it but you're going to you know I feel over here with the King of Swords, you're going to be very confident in the choice that you make once you get to that point of deciding. So I want to say, um, take the time that you need to consider what you're doing, whether you want to stay or whether you want to go in a situation. Again, that idea of, um, you know, do you want to keep pushing, right? Because that Seven of Pentacles keeps pushing uh, to help a situation thrive but there's a point where sometimes with the seven of pentacles you have to decide okay am i gonna continue to push this thing to see if it yields anything for me or am i gonna throw in the towel right it kind of feels like that's the decision you're you're kind of wavering between do i keep trying to make this thing grow okay see so we have the death card so scorpio it doesn't surprise me that a death card shows up for you because technically that's your card in the tarot um so definitely some changes definitely some changes happening here you're experiencing that you're making changes or decisions i almost feel that you're making decisions that are going to initiate some changes and i think you're well aware of that and you have to think about a few things before you make the choice to either end something, change something, adjust something. Okay, so you might be protecting your energy. Oh, yeah, see, you have to speak your truth. 
So this does make sense, again, especially with the King of Swords. So again, you're going to stand in your truth. You're going to say what you need to say. The sword itself is an energy of truth and communication. So I feel like you're going to say what you need to say. I think if you're leaving something behind or you're making changes, it's to protect yourself, protect your energy, maybe even protect your assets um, with the pentacles here. That's a possibility, but it kind of feels like whatever you're deciding to do or leave or change, um, it's going to, yeah, it's going to be a change for you. And then maybe that's why you have to do some serious soul searching about it and really consider with that seven of pentacles, what do you want? Because the minute you make this move, it's going to change everything. So it's a very big decision is kind of what I felt from the beginning. And the king of swords is really going to put a lot of thought into something. It is energy of the mind. And then at the same time, it's communication. So it is about speaking your voice. The wolf energy is very instinctual. So I think with the choice that you make, you will be following your instincts. You will be following your intuition and or listening to your inner voice. But whatever changes you make, I think are to protect your interest, especially with these two cards together. All right, protecting your interest, right? Your money, your, your security, your sense of security your foundation because it's earthly energy um something has to end in order for something new to begin so again scorpio you understand the energy of change and transition and transmutation you understand the energy of metamorphosis you're not afraid of change um change probably comes you know naturally to you um because it's just part of a scorpionic journey you know your life revolves around change and transformation and um, I almost want to say re the rebirth process, right? So I think you're you're undergoing a transition here and that Six of Swords is telling us that for sure. But I think whatever you are moving towards or embarking upon is one that is aligned and in balance, again, number six energy, with your truth, your own personal truth, your own inner voice. And you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Again, the soul searching, soul searching that you're doing here is going to bring inner peace to many areas of your life. So stand confident as a king of swords, knowing that the choices that you're making are going to put you on the path to your own inner well-being. Okay, and sometimes that's worth more than anything. Now that judgment energy, again, judgment in itself is all about. The rebirth process if you think about the judgment card in the tarot it is about that it's about letting go it is about a rebirth moment it is about you know letting go of the things that would hold you down and rising up and kind of that phoenix rising from the ashes energy you're really not the same as you were prior to it you know you're you're changed transformed and reborn so i really do feel some of you scorpio have recently gone through a rebirth process or you're, emb you're embarking upon one. But it's one that really is all about, I almost want to say, you. And standing in who you are and owning that. And feeling confident in that moving forward. So it feels very personal as far as what I'm seeing here. You're going through a personal transformation. You've looked at it every way, in every direction that you can. And it's like once you've looked at your situation in every direction that you are able to, you know, the answer still feels the same. You got to do what you got to do for you. And that's what this is feeling like. So whatever change that might be about, it could be in regards to a person. It could be in regards to a place. It could be in regards to a job. I say person, job, place, okay? King of Swords is representing like a person. That Seven of Pentacles could be like a career situation or a job or money and then this six of swords definitely talks about a place um because a lot of times it can be you know a card of travel and moving from one place to another so it could be a person a place or money situation but you're definitely making changes in all those aspects of your life and you're in the process of that transformation as we speak but it's all in all for the purpose of putting you in alignment with your personal truth okay so i almost want to grab one more oh look at that okay 
So balance, again, bringing yourself into balance and alignment. That's what these changes are all about. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some angel numbers for you. If you're not familiar with my channel, what I do is I roll the dice. Um, I get numbers that you can go online and interpret for messages. You can get additional messages from the numbers. They might confirm messages already said in this reading or perhaps provide additional ones. So what I say is look up a source you trust. I don't want to give you a source because it could be a source you don't resonate with. And part of the fun in researching the numbers you know, is finding synchronicities that the universe wants to throw at you along the way, right? So let's see what numbers come up for you. Again, do the research yourself to find out what the numbers mean. Um, so let's see. We have 12. And what is that? So, sorry, Mike, I'm looking through the camera lens. Seven. So we have one, two, seven. I'm, I, you know what? I'm gonna roll one more time. Usually when I get a three digit, I like to stop, but let's see. Okay. So one, two, seven, three. You shouldn't have a problem looking 1273 up. Um, it's usually once you get past the three digits, you start moving into the four digits that it starts to get difficult. But you can definitely look up that number. I've already looked that number up before myself and had no problem. So that's why I'm saying if we were looking at a weird number like an, like a nine and like, a, I don't know, a nine, a two, a four and a one, let's say a very crazy number like that, you might actually have to break that down. But in this case, you shouldn't have any problem looking that up. So what I'll say is I'll leave you here. Okay, sending much love wherever you are. Hope that you are well and safe. If you feel that this reading has helped or connected for you, by all means, please do let me know in the comment section because I do like hearing from everybody. If you want to support this channel, like, share, subscribe, click that little bell for notification as well so you don't miss future videos. And if you want to support my channel even further, please consider checking out my Etsy shop, seeing what readings I have available. I also do sell handmade crystal jewelry there so you could always see my artwork. So I'm going to leave you here. Sending much love again. Take care and keep shining.